Controlled pumping of polywater lubricant provides consistent lubrication and avoids the mess with hand application. The best pumps are designed for water-based materials and pump a broad lubricant viscosity range at acceptable flow rates. Polywater makes several pumps. The LP3 is a hand-operated, self-priming, piston-style transfer pump. Both liquid and gel polywater lubricants are pumped through the LP3 by adjusting the mechanical advantage ratio setting. The pump instructions include ratio setting recommendations. This adjustment is quick and simple, as is shown here. The LP3 pump mounts directly onto a 5-gallon pail. A 10-foot output hose is standard. Operate the pump with the up and down handle. Increase or decrease the rate of pumping to control the lubricant flow rate. The Polywater Pump LPD5 is powered by a quarter-inch or large electric drill. The LPD5 will pump all Polywater lubricants except the very thick gel DynaBlue. An extension feeder tube allows the LPD5 to draw from a 5-gallon pail or 55-gallon drum. The pump is supplied with a 12-foot output hose. Vary the drill speed to control the lubricant flow rate from the LPD5. When finished, reverse the drill to return the majority of lubricant from the output hose to the bucket. An appropriate lubricant pumping rate depends on duct size, cable count, and pulling speed. Even for large conduits, pumping rates required are generally less than one-third gallon per minute, one and a half liters per minute. Use the pumping rate calculator at www.polywater.com to determine a good starting rate. As a general procedure, pump the required lubricant volume at a rate that evenly distributes the lubricant over the length of the cable. A slightly heavier coating is recommended for the first third of the pole. 